take Natty over to the Performance Center because she is one of the best technical wrestlers we have in this business. Show me to the softest ring in here. There's so much going on right now with my knees and WrestleMania and... I'm definitely nervous about it. I'm afraid of heights and this will be the first time that I'm actually attempting to get up to the top rope. All right, but what, what do I do? How do I do this? What am I flashing on? On that dude? Just dummy, yeah. This is high, though. Look how high this is. You got this. This is like... Just pillows. relax. Just relax. You're a bird. Hey, look at me. I'm on the way. Turn up. Uh, it's there. the weekend, so uh, I'm a to try uh, my uh, luck. 9 got me feeling stuck. So you from the uh, other side not. of the room, baby girl. You in a rush? No. I don't want you to start with me, people. I don't even know if I can go to the top rope, period. You tried? How do I do it? Step. Here? Yep. Oh, shit. Stan. Oh, my God. 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 I can't. Yes, you, yes, you can. I barely stand. Stop making excuses and get your up there. You're working together to get Nia Jax out of the ring. Oh! I'm dying. They are beating the shit out of Naya. Doing all these crazy moves, I mean, I can't imagine doing that being injured the way she is. So I am really worried about her. Shut up! Naya and Tamina cleaning house. Definitely not holding back in this match, you know? This is my last hurrah for a little bit, and I just want to make sure I give everything I have. What is Daya gonna, wait, wait, wait a minute, you gotta be kidding no, me! come on! I've never seen her do this! We've seen Tamina go up top for the splash, but is Daya gonna go as well? As I'm walking up to the top rope, I'm, I'm definitely nervous about it. I'm afraid of heights. I'm thinking, gosh, what if I get up there and I slip? What if I do, what if I get up there and I jump off and I, and I don't flatten out? I have never been more nervous in my entire life. I have been feeling pain for so long and enough is enough. I just feel that surgery is the way to go because I have been doing every type of physical therapy and nothing is working. I'm actually getting worse. So I think it's now time to just step up and get myself fixed. I'm gonna take my chances and hopefully get good news from that. You know, these surgeries are, you go perfect, Oh, there is a complications, totally. but, but most of the time when it goes perfect, you go home the next day. Yeah. And then the first three months, we have to take it easy. Will she be in a neck brace for three months or? Yeah, the first three months is because, let's put it this way, like a fresh concrete, you know, and the, and the screws on the case are holding things together. So if you force it too much, we can lose what we did. Oh, I think you're moving here. One of the things I've always had to deal with with the twins wrestling is this dark cloud that they could get injured. And so when they first started wrestling, I'd see them fall out of the ring and I'd hold my breath and I'm in TV land watching this with the rest of the world and I'm like, okay, are they hurt? Are they not hurt? And then now it's eight years later, I guess, and we are dealing with a real injury. And we have dealt with some before, but the neck injuries just at a different level. So I'm up on my surfboard, I'm trying to stand up, and of course, and all of a sudden I feel this stabbing pain in my foot, like a sharp shooting pain. It feels like there's a hundred needles in my foot. They're in there, buddy. Ah! Uh, oh yeah. Ah, don't make a face. Okay, there's some what we call fauna. It's sea urchin, you got some of that in your foot. Um, what does that mean? They're not gonna so, come out right now. I, I need them out. I wanna go to the hospital right now. Really? Are you okay, Don't try to pull it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what is on our feet, but we have been stabbed by something and we need to get to the ER now. They do have a little bit of poison in them, so that's what you're feeling. I want them out. Yeah. I, I want it out of my foot. The queen gets carried to the car. Today I'm working out with Lana. Lana is one of our WWE divas on the main roster. I have to make sure I'm in shape for one of my last matches. So you're literally, I'm done Monday after Mania. No, it's not crazy. No. It's very surreal. It's very mixed emotions for me because yeah. I'm very sad, but I'm extremely happy. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm going to start trying to be a mother, so yeah. that's very exciting for me. That's amazing. Uh, I'll be sad to leave you girls, but I was telling my mom, I'm like, 
I will not miss like <laughs> trying to figure out gear and oh. makeup for the life of me. Yeah. Never Things that again. I should never stress out about, never that again. I'm stressed, that I will not have to worry about. What I will miss is the ring. I will yeah. miss wrestling. Yeah. That's gonna be very hard on me. We work so hard and so many things are always so intense. So yeah. when we're out there, we should be able to have fun. Exactly. Yeah. I completely agree. I'm really excited. Me too. Oh, Ooh, thank you, girl. Thank you. And now, the following is the first ever WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. This WrestleMania is so historic for women. It's the first time that there's been four matches where women are featured. The Women's Battle Royal is where 20 girls are competing in the ring, and whoever is the last girl remaining is the winner. And that's Miss Money in the Bank, Carmella. is crazy. This is a history-making moment. This is a history-making match. And you don't have to get pinned. You actually have to throw the other person over the top rope. The last woman left in the ring wins, and that's who gets the bragging rights. And uh, I'm trying to win. I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. It's really surreal to stand here right now knowing that three years ago today I wasn't even openly gay. And nobody except for my mom and my dad knew that I was gay. So to be here on a float that has my name on it with my best friends, my girlfriend, my family, celebrating the fact that I'm gay is surreal. So thank you guys so much and I love you all. I'm trying to revel in this moment and soak up everything because I remember four years ago, I didn't even have a clue how to be open. I love you. It's pretty amazing. <laughs>